Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today we're cracking open a new bottle of Wild Turkey 70th Anniversary Release Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Get right into the particulars so we can get right into the drinking of it. So this one comes in at an eight year, 101 proof. We got it for $52.99. Uh, the distillery is it's distilled and bottled at Wild Turkey Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Uh, and this one's a tribute to Jimmy Russell to commemorate his 70th anniversary at Wild Turkey. And uh, so whenever supposedly anyone has ever asked them, we've never got to meet them. I know a couple of you guys have because I've seen pictures. But they all he ask him what his favorite whiskey is, and it's always eight year whiskey at 101 proof. So they uh, appropriately put it out at his favorite proof and price. So supposedly it is. It's I think they pick from like all the favorite barrels of the different uh, rec house, you know, rec houses that they have, on which one they want. But so it's supposed to be a step above. We will see. So with that, I mean they didn't really outrageously crank up in price you know it's not a 300 hundred dollar bottle or, you know ultra special which i was gonna get to that and you read my mind on that 100 percent, i agree with you and and that was the good thing because if you look at the master's keep at 299 or if you look at generations was like think 450 dollars where they took the three generations you know they all had a hand in it i mean they've been putting out some big releases for some huge money so the fact that they actually did a tribute to him and they gave his whiskey at his price you know what i mean he was all Seems about the value it is twice the price of a regular 101, and uh, I will have to get another 101 because Mike drank it all. <laughs> all right, maybe it was me. Just to see. You know, it would be nice to put it in a blind against it. You know what I mean? To see I'm how not it, opposed to 101 regular wild turkey. So. No, that's what I mean. I, I do like it, too. So I was curious to see, is this one that of much course, better? I probably don't like a lot. <laughs> no, I hear you. That's why I'm in no rush to get it either. You know what I mean? So I don't know. But... It just would. It's got a. It's got a pretty strong it, nose. It though. does. It does actually have a, a nice nose. I, I just chuckled to myself because I could see the whole row of <laughs> get a regret back there That's still. So, yeah. I was uh, debating on whether we should do that tomorrow. To be honest with you, because they keep adding up over there. It, it, it's they're, like, they're like gremlins. Someone's yeah. throwing water on them. They're multiplying like, like crazy. This has a very good nose, actually. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Which I don't remember what Wild Turkey 101 diving out nose wise. It's, it's, it's flavor wise, it usually punches you in a throat. Mm -hmm. But oh, this was pretty easy. I, it's 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 easy. It's tasty. I took a little sip. I wasn't sure. I, I did too, but I kind of switched sure it around. And it wasn't me. crazy. No, no, but it it's it 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 has a nice taste to it though. It does for sure. It almost has like a pretty nice fruitiness. In I'm nose. trying to get what that nose is. I was thinking, yeah, it's actually bringing me kind of, I think I'm. it's bringing to me on the realm of like a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a toss between like a regular cherry and, or a maraschino cherry. It's got that, it's got that dark fruitness. You know what I mean? Like when you bite into it, the juice, but it almost has a hint on, on going all the way to like the, I think it even has a pretty cherry. nice little oak finish. That I w I was gonna say, I wasn't sure because I took such a baby sip, but it had a nice caramel on the front too that goes mm -hmm. in. So you get that you little really hit get of the caramel fruit. in the nose though as much. It's kind of a mm -hmm. fruitier nose. It's no caramel in the nose, but you do have a sweetness to start, mm -hmm. which you, you can go caramel if, if you want. But then it, it it ends with a nice little oak with a little. It's it's with a little fireworks going on with the uh, if you swish it, it with it, the right. Oh yeah, does. I just did. You could almost mistake this for a higher proof, too. You know what I mean? When I just rolled it around on my tongue, it kind of gave me a nice rye bounce. Like Man, I got the Pop Rocky. That might have been my starter screwing me up. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> so it's not crazy to me right now. No, no, second, I'm not talking hot at all. I'm talking like... It does like, stick like, around, like, like, Yeah, it does yeah, stick that's around. what I mean. It, yeah, yeah. it coats very well. When you do swish it, it does stick yeah, around, yeah. and it, it's, it goes, it stays on the sides. It's still there. So it, 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 does, it does have... Right, I don't remember that. That's I'm, I'm trying to think in my head. The last I've been a dog's age. Will you buy one hundred and one every once in a while to have it for it? You know, I don't remember it, it having the viscosity 
or lasting as long as what this is doing. I don't remember it being as easy. It might have a little more of a kick. This seems to be a little easier. Than... Uh, more elbows going down when you're trying yeah, to drink yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, okay. the regular 101. Mm -hmm. This one seems to have a nice little ride. Mm -hmm. With with the flavors. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do like the flavors of regular 101, though. I just no, think it's it, a little more edgier. Right. Well, and you're talking, I want to say it's an average of like four years with the, the regular 101. I mean, this is twice the age. It's twice the price. Same proof. Yeah, but I, I I would I would go get this all day long versus some of the other little stars. Well, oh, a thousand percent. No, no, I, I, <laughs> I had, I'm agreeing. You know that I, I don't want the fancy box because it didn't really change. Yeah, that much. So and, and again, it's it uh, for a limited release, and that that that's going to be the biggest question because it is a limited release. But. I'm trying to think. I, I, you see me days and off in the future because no, I'm thinking in my head because Kentucky Spirits is also 101, but I think it's even pricier than what this is. We got that Camp Nelson one up there, and I and that's also from them. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So I think it would put us in the same. You know, I'm I'm thinking in my head. Oh, you know, it's this is very good for what it is, but I know you can get Wild Turkey 101 for what 20, 25 to 27, 25, somewhere yeah, yeah. somewhere in that range, usually. So I mean, it is half. We do price. really have to kind of do them side by side. I'm thinking in my from memory that this is going to be a little easier of a drinker, but beyond that, it, it, it's can't. We might even have to throw in. That. I got the Kentucky one over there. You know what I mean? We could, we could even do a, a three way battle where you have the, uh, you know, you get you get all the hundred one proofs from them. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? That come in. And that would kind of decipher a little bit, you know. Especially if we do get the rye for that other thing too, we put all four of them in. They're all one ones from Kentucky, <laughs> you know, what I mean? from Wild Turkey. But this is very good. It keeps getting better and better mm -hmm. in the glasses. Mm -hmm. It sits so. Because now in the nose, I'm getting more. Because before I was getting more of the cherry, but now in the nose, I'm getting more of a mix of a caramel, and I can actually smell the wood. You know what it, I mean? It, like it does have a good end flavor. Mm -hmm. It actually has a good middle flavor too. But it, it, and I guess it's, I don't know if it's just me, but it just seems really easy. It's so, you. Is it? It could have something to do with <laughs> warming up or something that's 130 proof. I think that could be the case. Yeah, no, it, I, to me, it has, it has a bite to it. Like it, it's sitting there because when I roll it around on my tongue, I'm, I'm actually getting oh, a no, nice pop rocky yeah, yeah, feel. No, when you roll like, it, like, yes, yeah, yeah. it definitely holds, it does kick in then. If you just sip it though, it, to me, it's a nice little sipper. If you're not swishing it around. I don't think I ever just sip it. That's why I try to taste the flavor. That's why you always say, how do you possibly have that much left in your glass? Because I actually try to how many, engulf the flavor. How many people sit here and, and when they're sitting there, gargle, gargle it like it's a I do. mouthwash? I do. Leave a comment down below. I'll be curious. So, Every time? Some of us just go, 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 do, go, do, go do. and other of us, I yeah, no, I'm always, because when I have a whiskey that I actually am trying to get notes out of or trying to get different flavors, I swish it 95% of the time. So I'll take a small one, I'll roll it around. Because a lot of times, again, I don't want to crap on them, but there's a certain brand that when I roll it around on my tongue, it starts breaking. And then I get that 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 wet haste flavor. Well, it does it to me too. But and it, so I, I have a habit of doing that because it, I, to me, that's one way it brings out flavors to see, is it consistent throughout the whole thing? Or when you say, how do you get it to change from the beginning to the middle to the end? Because when I'm rolling it around, sometimes it changes. And right before I swallow, sometimes I get something. So it's my own little weird process. Say, and everyone's got a BB's process. going all over the place. Everyone's got a process. But I if, I'm, if I'm sitting there at night, which happens regularly, and I'm having a drink, I like to see. Then you it, really have fantasies. Well, no, that's, I, that's, I, that is all kinds of imagination. I had oatmeal cream cookies last <laughs> night. That's what I was. Saying. One of the ones I drank no, last it is, night. It is. And it weird, was crazy. It, it, yeah. The, the later you sit there, and the longer you sit there, it's like, wow, this. I got to remember these notes for tomorrow. But no, it was it was I one know. that I had I hadn't tried in a while. It was I went between that Hirsch and the Punch's Chance up there, and it was literally like them. You know them oatmeal cream. Little Debbie, yeah, yeah, th yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was tasting. Super I was sweet, like, thick. "What the heck?" You know, I'm like, I don't remember this. This nose is getting it. better and better now that's, that we just poured yeah. more in here. It's it's like jumping out of. The I wasn't. I made a joke the other day about it waking it up, but it seems to when you put it, a little bit more in. It's like I, all of a sudden, always, you know, it, it obviously gets better after a sip, but then yeah. now. Yeah. So we definitely will. Let, we'll have to let this let this sit for a little bit. Uh, 
I know too, someone just recently said, hey, that make is 101 behind you. There's another 101 that we have. You know what I mean? Maybe I won't buy the regular one. We can just, just to see, do another battle of the 101s because we got the Camp Nelson. We got this one. Maybe yeah, it would we'll be get... a weeder. So yeah, it'd be different. But... Yeah, but he asked me. I think it won last time. No, no, no. I, I, I think I, it won last time. It I'm, just, not, I'm not opposed to it's it. Just, it. It's just yeah, another one that is it's short money that just brings a ton of flavor correct. to the table. And it's, you know? it's, it's always... And what does is, what is the 101 go for? Low 30s, I think. High 30s? 38. 38. So it's, it's still... 39, yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah. So it's in It's it's in there. It's in. It, that's what I mean. I, just curiosity. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just spitballing. We'll, we'll see. We'll let this open up. But the, I 100% agree with you. The longer it sits in the glass, this does have a huge oaky presence. It does. And the flavor is, uh, it is for only 101 proof. Oh. It's almost as viscous as what I remember the, the Elijah being the other day. Like anything that's touching, it might not be as thick, but everything that's touching leaves flavor. And behind. I just took a bigger sip that time, and it does now. You feel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I was doing baby sips, but I'm looking at a bottle that I could put more in, so that was dumb. I was doing like I'm doing sample bottles. Mm -hmm. so. Pay attention. I might get that's that why, every now and then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why. I, no, I, that's why I was rolling. I mean, this is this is very good. So what what are you mm -hmm. thinking? Again, this is a, you know, but you know, Wild Turkey doesn't do anything small, but it, it is a limited release. But this is one of their first ever limited releases that are jacked up in price, out of control. What would you give it for a grade? This is I, the tricky part. I'm I'm pretty content. I would I would give this probably an A minus. I'm not. I, I was I'm right not, there. I'm not. I'm not I, opposed I was, to this. I was right there. I mean, even with the price, yep. I'm not. I'm not opposed, and, and I would be. I am interested on. You know, is the other one a little rough around the edges? But even with that, yeah, you can get two for one. But that's this the thing. Is, is this it is, two times well, better? This that's, is that well, this would be, would be one of those special occasion or or look what I found because I don't know if there's going to be fifty thousand of no, these I, hanging yeah. around. You know what I mean? I'm sure they have. They did x amount of barrels. Uh, I, and, I'm sure what's going to happen, especially anyone who lives by Kentucky, they're going to get this bottle, bring it down, see if Jimmy will sign it, and then put it on the secondary market for like six billion dollars. You know, or, or they'll, they'll get, does, we'll get but, two because they can, and they're no, going yeah, to they, keep one, never crack it, and right. then hope twenty years from now they it's grandson's going to be oh, yeah. no, whistling I, I, Dixie that he's got his grandfather got a special bottle. No, but, I agree. Unfortunately for us. <laughs> they're gonna get at best gonna get open bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's gonna get a bunch of get a regrets. That's what he's gonna get. <laughs> there it is. So, well, there you go. We'll keep this one short and sweet, even though it's probably already long. So Hopefully, this... they drink them. You know, and they just don't like smash them against rocks. No, but they, they don't. That that's the thing. You know, I, I don't that's know how young they would be. You know, whiskey is made to be drank. Anyways, I've always said that. You know, I, don't get me wrong. If I got a super specialty bottle, I might try to preserve it and to. But it should always be cracked at one point in time. What's the sense of spending uh, all that money for something I, that you're going to look at? You know what I mean? I know a few. Actually, a few store owners, they they got bought on this. So never be cracked. No, I know. That's I'm crazy like, to me. Why but, would you, and yeah. it's, it's like sitting in an office that no one sees. Yeah. But mm, there you go. Here it is. This is the Wild Turkey 70th anniversary release. Kentucky Straight. Bourbon whiskey. I don't know why I can't talk lately. I just have it. I, I, all, I, all of a sudden, I'm stammering, you have stuttering. Been you know, it's good. Stuff. <laughs> so, well, there you go. Leave your comments down below. If you guys I'm get like, to try it, I just that. like the Ed McMahon. I just keep laughing. I'm just I'm giggling just at me. I know. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less, drink more. Cheers. You dig yourself with the I was just going to say, how many people are going to even know him? Ed McCool? <laughs> Is that McDonald's?